Okay, I think this is part four. So I finally got this drawn. And now we want to take this. I put some dimensions on this. And it's going to be, you're looking at this in three point, this one in three point perspective. And this is gonna be coming at you in one point perspective. We're gonna to have to decide on exactly where this thing is going to be in space. But before we do that, let's talk about how we draw this in one point perspective and keep this in three point perspective. So here is a one point perspective diagram. There is horizon line and you have a center vision. It's on the horizon line. 90 degrees from that is your station point. And your measuring points are sitting on the horizon line and they are 45 degrees from the station point. You can have one on both sides. So this is our one point perspective diagram. So things that are um, vertical, vertical lines are just straight up and down. Horizontal lines are straight across parallel with the horizon line. Things that go back in space, they go to the center of vision. So this is one point perspective. So we want to take this diagram and we want to put it on top of this diagram. So here is our horizon line. Here's our horizon line in the three point diagram. It's up here. But we can't, you can't do this. You can't take this horizon line and put it on top of this horizon line because it means you have a center of vision here. And in this diagram, we have a center of vision here. You can't have two center of visions. That means you'd be looking at two places at the same time. So the horizon line is actually a bit overrated, I, th I think, in perspective. If you were floating around in space, there was no planet Earth, no horizon line, but out there floating around with you were boxes. Those boxes that, that you'd be looking at would still have perspective. They would still have vanishing points. They would have measuring points. Center of vision, you would still have a center of vision, but you would have no horizon line. So, the important thing with this is not so much the horizon line, it's the center of vision. You can only look at one place at a time. So if we have our center vision established here in the three point diagram, we have to take this center of vision and put it right on top of this center of vision. You can only have one center of vision. So the other thing is in this one point diagram, we have the distance between the viewer and the picture plane. It's right here. Let's see, we're just doing units. I, let's see, this is what? About one, two, two, two and a half units. Over here, we had F four, but then we half the scale, so it's eight. So this would be five units. This one is eight units. You can't have station points that are in two different, two different distances from the picture plane. That would mean you're in two places at the same time. So this is another thing that has to be consistent in a drawing. So we have center vision has to be here. Station point can't be here. It has to be this eight units from the picture plane. So we hit this, this one point diagram doesn't work with this three point diagram. We have to do this all over. 
So I'm going to make another overlay here. And we had that thing called an auxiliary horizon line. That's what I like to call this. It's not really a horizon line because our horizon line is up here. This is our auxiliary horizon line. Our center vision is here. The distance between the viewer and the picture plane is four inches on my ruler. So it has to be down here. Oops, a little bit off my tracing paper. That's okay. So this is my station point. And my measuring points are still 45 degrees. Oh, well that makes sense, right? That, see my station point? That's where my measuring point is going to be because the distance between the station point and the center vision in one point perspective is the same as between the center vision and the measuring point. It, we, we could put one on the other side if we wanted measuring point here. So now we have our center vision So here's our one point diagram. It goes off the page a little bit, that's all right. And, um, and that's what you have to keep consistent. You could put just about any diagram on top of another diagram if you keep two things constant. Only one center of vision in any drawing. And the distance between the viewer and the picture plane has to remain constant. You can't be looking at two places at once and you can't be in two places at once. All right, so I'm just gonna be a short one. So next one, then we'll um, figure out exactly where this is going to be in space.